Grand Risings. So I want to share a special jewel with you all today. Something that I'm 100% confident in um, what I've come across and some things that we have to be aware of, okay? As uh, if you've watched my previous video, I talk about how I'm fo more focused on my studies and I want to get to a level where I'm 100% confident or more in the information that I give to my audience. Um, I am deciding to no longer learn and teach as I go. Um, do I still, do I find a, do I find an issue with uh, people who teach and also learn as they go the information they're teaching? Absolutely not. But I feel like I've, um, I've ascended past that level. I feel like the information um, that I'm coming across, it, it needs more extensive study. And through that, I'll have more to offer my viewers. So that's why I'm deciding to um, make some of the decisions that I'm making. But with further ado, let's get into the video, the meat of the video. Or should I say the avocado of the video for my vegans? <laughs> my vegans and vegetarians. Okay. Um, so when... Our energies are absorbing certain things. Um, we have to be aware of who we are learning from. Because there are people, there, 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 are, um, there, there may be a person out there who appears more knowledgeable than us. But once we really tap into our frequency and our intuition, they're the ones that actually uh, become our students. I know that sounds a little bit weird. Um, if y'all follow me on Instagram, I'll, I'll talk about that too. Um, I actually made a, a meme post on how... Um, as a parent, we actually have to allow our children um, to teach us information that they know. I'm a strong believer that um, to a certain degree, your children are, is kind of like a master teacher. Like their, their intuition is stronger than ours. They're able to maintain a certain amount of innocence. The world hasn't broken them. So there's actually a lot that we can actually learn from our children because they are the most um, deprogrammed. Because the longer that you live on the planet, the longer that um, you've allowed yourself to uh, watch TV or um, uh, study information that you aren't really supposed to be putting in your conscious and subconscious uh, you begin you begin to be more programmed and our children don't really learn about that stuff until later on so when you look at it you have this child but you have an opportunity to kind of uh, change the cycle within that but our children actually have a lot to offer us as well because like I said um, as an adult who has uh, gone through um, programming and having to reprogram and all of that stuff we, we, we actually have a lot of unprogramming to do but as far as our children our children have a chance we have an opportunity to um, to um, allow our children to have that certain innocence um, for them to maintain their um, their strong intuitions, um, their strong link 
um, with their ancestors. Because as you know, if you've done extensive study on um, the symptoms of being programmed, it actually dumbs you down. You know, uh, it weakens your intuition intentionally and on all this other stuff. So it's crazy because I came on here to talk about one subject, but then I had just thought about another subject. But just just do not cut yourself down so bad because you do have something to offer the world. It's just you have not accessed it and tapped into it yet. I just um, this video was predominantly to get people to um, tap into their natural powers, their natural strengths, um, because sometimes we'll find I'll give you the example. We'll find a video and the person may seem knowledgeable. But honestly, once you really tap in, you actually may be the type of person to be their teacher. You know what I'm saying? So this video is just to say, don't don't um, get the get the information, get the knowledge. Don't necessarily uh, put people on pedestals because you are then allowing your own natural strengths um, and natural intuitions to, to be blocked um, because you could be potentially their teacher um, in, in a certain way, in a certain sense. Just like our own children can be our teachers in a certain way, in a certain sense. And um, earlier in the video, I mentioned that. I talk about how they have um, their, in, their um, innocence they have their stronger connection to our ancestors. Uh, they have their stronger sense of potential um, intuition and etc. We have a stronger opportunity for to um, um, help our children uh, strengthen these gifts by um, not filling their head up with the things that uh, we've been filled up with. So um, that's pretty much all I wanted to share in this video. As usual, it's like the downloads kind of come in and uh, I didn't realize I'd be using the excuse of our children and also um, it's, it's, it's just crazy how um, you have an idea of what you want to talk about and it doesn't always uh, go the way that we think that it should go or that it's going to go. That's also something that we have to be 100% uh, open for, open to, for better or worse. Because the universe works strongly with change. So the more that we are adaptable to change, the um, more spiritually strong we will then become. We won't um, be manipulated by our emotions. So as far as I'm concerned... Um, and there's a couple ways of how to look at this, but, um, if you're one to like to plan just in case you don't want to, um, what's the word? Like, uh, blink out. Like, you know how, um, if you come across it, like say somebody catches you off guard and you don't really know what to say, that type of thing. Like, I don't feel like it's. A bad idea for to plan just to prevent something like that from happening. I'm a, I'm kind of a planner myself. I like to uh, think about different things that I'll do in different circumstances and situations. But the trick with that is you have to be able to be flexible. If things don't go as planned, you can't be crushed. You can't be heartbroken, um, things like that, because the universe is set up for you to adapt to change. So you should be building your um, your body to be more accepting to change, because then you 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 build you you build the strength within that. Um, you build comfort within that. You're not. Uh, set in your ways about things you may or may not be able to control. So uh, that's the other thing that I wanted to mention in this video. 
but I wanted to make sure whatever video I would make next, I would be 100% knowledgeable on before um, um, giving it to the public because I know that we all have our own separate experiences. Um, sometimes our experiences aren't as consistent. Like one day it might work, but the next day it won't work. So uh, this information that I'm giving you today has been pretty consistent. You have to, like I said, you have to be flexible to uh, what the universe has to offer. Um, there are some people out there who don't want to operate with uh, planning at all because it's kind of a setup. Because um, you may be setting yourself up to be crushed or broken hearted or sad or any of those things. And the best way to avoid that is to not have any plans at all. So just throw, just throw those papers up in the air and just go with the flow, you know? Um, so that, that, that's not a bad idea. But since I'm one who tends to like to plan, it might take some time for me to um, get to that space to where, you know, I do that. But there is great benefit of just going with the flow because it allows you to be more open to what the universe has to provide and what you may think you can provide to yourself because it's never just you it's you and a bigger collective and that bigger collective when i speak of the bigger collective i'm talking about the spiritual realm but anywho thank you for tuning in to this video peace love and light to you